Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another review. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. So is this the best citrus fragrance ever? If you look up the note breakdown for this, it has neroli and lemon verbena and lemon and orange and bergamot and it is so rife with citrus in the opening and it really is a burst of freshness so in today's video we're going to be talking about a Guerlain fragrance this one came out back in 1860 quite a long time ago and this one is called eau de cologne imperial i'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance so make sure to stay tuned Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Guerlain's Eau de Cologne Imperial, and I tell you all about this fragrance, what I get from the smell, the performance, if I could compare it to any other fragrances on the market, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button down below. And while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way, whenever I do put out these types of videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would mean a lot. So this fragrance came out in 1860. The perfumer is Pierre Francois Pascal Guerlain. There is a very rich heritage with this company and the brand and this fragrance in particular. And of course, if we're talking about the traditional Eau de Cologne fragrances, of course, the name comes from Cologne, Germany. And if you are aware of the story behind the composition of 4711, which is actually quite similar to this fragrance, then you know how it came about. But these are typically fragrances that are fresh, a little bit on the aromatic side. There's actually a note of rosemary in here, but a ton of citrus so you have the lemon the orange the bergamot the lemon verbena the neroli which i think really sits at the heart of this composition so i'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell let's start things off with the presentation So of course, one of the reasons why I decided to review this fragrance for you today is because summer is here or it's almost here depending on when I decide to publish this video and I think that this fragrance is fantastic for the summertime. That's actually the only season in which I would wear this fragrance unless I'm wearing it casually around the house, you know, as soon as I get out of the shower or something like that. I think that that's probably the second best time or occasion to wear this one. but. It opens up so fresh. You have the neroli, you have the bergamot, the lemon verbena. And right away, I think it's the presence of that neroli. And sometimes people think of pettigrain as well, although pettigrain has some woodsy tendencies as well, often thought of to be the poor man's neroli because of um, the ingredients that go into the distillation of that raw material. But you have the neroli and it's so bright and flavorful and it's citric, but it's very nicely done in the opening. If you're familiar with fragrances like Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford, 4711, uh, that's kind of the wheelhouse that this falls into. I know Chanel has a Neroli heavy offering as well. So if you're familiar with that cologne genre, the eau de cologne genre, that's pretty much what you're going to get from this one. In terms of the rosemary that's in here, I do think that the herbal and aromatic tendencies of this fragrance are quite on the mild side. So you're going to get more citrus than anything. This one is like 90 90 to 95 percent citrus five percent whatever else is in here but you don't get too much of the orange i feel like i'm getting perhaps more lemon from this than anything else because lemon has a distinct smell if you've ever cut a lemon in half you put it up to your nose it has that sort of a tart uh, lemony aroma i don't even know how else to describe it and orange orange as a note is a little bit more warm i would say so it kind of opens up with that citrusy freshness and it's a fragrance that's going to give you slightly better longevity as 4711, but the longevity is not going to be as good as like a Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford, because keep in mind, this is Eau de Cologne concentration. So you have Eau de Cologne, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, Extract de Parfum, and then sometimes you have the pure parfum or you have an attar, which is like all oil, no alcohol. So eau de cologne, this really kind of sits at the base of the totem pole, if you will. So it's not going to be a fragrance that is going to give you 
tremendous amount of longevity on your skin, but it is a fragrance where you get out of the shower, you can douse yourself in this. I'm not kidding. You can do like 20 to 30 sprays. I know that that might sound a bit extreme, but if you've smelled this one and if you own this one, you know exactly why I'm making that suggestion. So the performance is not going to be nuclear. You're not going to get great performance. You will get noticed in the first 10 minutes because of those bright, volatile citrusy tendencies but unfortunately it is a fragrance that's going to land you in the vein of like two to three hours longevity uh, but really that hearty citrus opening is going to last about 10 minutes so if that's your thing if you're into longevity and getting really good performance from your fragrances perhaps there are some other citrus offerings from Guerlain that you may consider checking out but in the case of this fragrance I personally feel like the citrus is very short-lived uh, but there are some other redeeming factors like that clean musky dry down and a bit of those woods that are in here as well and mostly the rosemary but like I said before it's 90 to 95 percent citrus let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment so first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell this one does smell remarkably similar to 4711 and 4711 predated this one if I'm not mistaken so it is a typical eau de cologne DNA but one thing that I like about Guerlain fragrances is that they have a certain level of complexity about them that is unmatched by other brands. And so I really appreciate Guerlain as a brand for really producing these high quality and complex fragrances. And the overall smell is very pleasant, but you must be a fan of citrus fragrances. Longevity on this one is gonna be about two to three hours. So here's the thing, something like 4711 might get you a half hour of longevity. This one might get you anywhere between two and three hours of longevity. Neroli Portofino might get you about four hours of longevity, but the price difference between this one and 4711 is so negligible that I would say purchase this one, but Tom Ford is quite expensive. You know what I mean? So that's a big jump from this one, which might land you in the vein of like 40 or 50 bucks up to like a Tom Ford, which might be in the vein of 150 to 200 dollars depending on the size and depending if you're buying it online at a, a discount or something like that so the choice is yours right it all depends on how much money you wish to spend in terms of the versatility for this one this one is pretty versatile uh, it's not going to last a whole lot on your skin but you can wear this one casually there's something refined about the citrus in here, so you can wear this one formally. I would just recommend that you carry a decant with you so that you can reapply throughout the day. This is a summertime type of a fragrance, and it's totally a shared composition. And then, of course, in terms of the presentation, I think it's a gorgeous presentation. I actually really like these bottles. My final verdict is if you are a fan of citrus-based fragrances, if you like the note of Neroli, if you know what fragrances like Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford and 4711 by Maurer and Vert Smell, like I would definitely recommend that you check this one out especially if you're looking for a fragrance that has slightly better longevity than 4711 without compromising that bright fresh citrusy quality that you're gonna get in all three of those fragrances that were just mentioned so there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me today that was my fragrance review of eau de cologne imperial by Guerlain if you own or have tried this fragrance please let me know what you think leave a comment down below also if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it all you have to do is click on that red button down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm it would mean so much to me and it would help tremendously thanks again for watching love you all We'll see you next time. Bye.